Hey guys, Chris Gurr here, Drummer's Guide to Gear, DG2G.com. This month we're going to be talking a little bit about K-Brakes. They're a system that you use on your bass drum spurs to help keep your bass drum from creeping on you while you're on a carpeted surface. They run $39. I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit with my friend Ronan here. He's helped me with some reviews, some interviews. I actually let him test these out. He's had them for the last month or so. He's a gigging drummer. He's out playing. He's a hard hitter, so he was the perfect guy to test this product to make sure it performed the way it was supposed to. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the installation now. How long would you say it takes you to install these? Uh, if your kit's broken down, it took me about five, between five to ten minutes. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really an easy design. They, they, they really came up with something that uh, is easy to install and... Uh, it's a durable product. I can already tell when I was uh, doing the installation. Now, when you go to pack up your kit, these don't get in the way when you roll your legs up? They... When you roll the legs up, they actually uh, fold up along with the legs however you choose to. And if uh, they become to be a point where it's in the way, you can actually loosen them uh, very easily with the adjustment knob that, uh, <clears throat> that you use to actually secure the, the K-brake itself and then twist it out of the way. It's, you know, it's pretty simple. Now, like I said, you're an actual gigging musician. You're out there playing shows. You practice, you know, every week. And you're a heavy hitter. You do a lot of metal stuff, a lot of quick kicks. Um, in the past, like I said, you've played various places. I'm sure you've encountered the creeping bass drum. Absolutely. Now, with this product, like I said, it's $39.99. Did it perform well enough, and is it worth the $39.99 for you to save the time? Did it Has it held up the way it's supposed to? Has it performed the way it's supposed to? Absolutely. Um, they are absolutely worth it. My kick drum does not go anywhere. Where, uh, I, I want, wherever I put it, it stays. It does not move at all. Um, and that was even coming from uh, with a rack that secures the kick drum that has my toms and a few rack symbols on it. Um, even then with the, the traditional kick drum spikes that were on the legs, it would still slide around. Uh, with the K-brakes, it has not moved it from the time I have set it up to the time I'm done playing it, pack it up. Awesome. So, if you were to give it a rating, say 1 to 10 as far as value, performance, and would you recommend it? Uh, I would give it a 9 out of 10 solely for the fact that I wish there was just an adapter that I could use for hardwood floor surfaces rather than carpet. Um, it does its job 100% as a carpeted uh, tool to keep my kick drum in place. They do not market it as something that you can use anywhere. So they do exactly what they are intended for. I just wish that you could use them on a uh, hardwood uh, surface because of that. Um, however, I would recommend them to anybody that does have the creeping bass drum. Um, I know I have encountered it quite a bit myself, and I've even resorted to using <laughs> tape and bricks to try and keep my kick drum in the same spot. But... Even then, it still likes to move, and I don't know, they just found out a way with the with the little teeth that they have on the bottom of the actual brake itself that it just does not want to go anywhere. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you taking the time testing this product. If you want more information on K-Brakes, you can find them at kbrakes.com. Until next time, guys, keep drumming.